Yes, we have CBS News contributor Mark Rosenker on the phone. He is the former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. Mark, thanks for joining us. Good to be with you. The NTSB said this worker was with ground support. Would that give him unfettered access to the plane? He would get a great deal of access to the plane, and of course, it would not be unusual to be seen uh, walking around the tarmac uh, near these aircraft, uh, and he could, uh, uh, if he has the knowledge, and clearly he did, be able to access the aircraft, get onto the flight deck, and this was the amazing part, to be able to start it, taxi it, and then take it off. And that leads us to the next question, Mark. Do you find it unusual that this person was able to pilot the plane in the way that he did? Absolutely. Uh, this, <laughs> this is an amazing feat when you think about it. I, I don't think he has much aviation experience at all. The FAA, of course, will be able to tell us that later if he had any type of a general aviation uh, license. But uh, he, he did say he had spent a lot of time with video games. There are video games that deal with a simulation of this aircraft. And uh, the fidelity is amazing. You can learn a great deal from uh, playing these types of games. Ah, that's frightening to say the least. What do you think of the job air traffic control did in trying to handle this situation? Outstanding. When you listen to the voice of this air traffic controller, very calm, very focused, attempting to get uh, trust from this individual and to try to get him to turn that aircraft toward a landing strip and get it on the ground safely. All right, from an investigative standpoint, what questions still need to be answered? Well, the NTSB will be supporting the FBI. They will be leading the investigation since this is a criminal act. So when the NTSB is able to locate the flight data recorder, the cockpit voice recorder, and document the scene, they will provide all of that evidence to the FBI for their investigation. All right, Mark, we already have the recording between the worker and air traffic control. Uh, would the cockpit recording reveal anything that we haven't heard? Yes, it wouldn't surprise me. We may hear conversations between the fighter pilots and uh, the, uh, the individual at the controls of this aircraft. We may hear him even talking to himself. We don't know what we're going to hear on this aircraft, but to have watched the maneuvers that this individual made, uh, one, it's a tribute to the aircraft that it stayed, stayed in one piece. He, these are not stunt planes. They're commercial airliners. And this man was doing all kinds of unusual uh, maneuvers with the airplane. And it will also, the uh, flight data recorder, DeMarco, will also tell us if he actually lost control, if he ran out of fuel, or if, in fact, he guided the aircraft into the ground. Wow. All right, a final question for you, Mark. Do you think this is just a freak incident, or should this spark calls to look at whether more can be done to prevent something like this from happening again? We certainly have to look at uh, our safety protocols and security protocols as it relates to those that have access to the aircraft. But this was supposedly a trusted employee. He had the appropriate credentials to be on the tarmac and around aircraft. So uh, the uh, company is going to look, I'm sure, at the, uh, the access. They're going to look at perhaps uh, surveillance cameras to be able to see what he attempted to do to get into the airplane. There's lots of questions out there that require answers before we will really understand exactly what happened here. All right, Mark Rosenker, the expert. Mark, thank you. Always good to talk to you. You bet, DeMarco. Thanks.